to Thursday the what day is it people it is the 23rd it is the 23rd it's been <laughs> vlogging's been a bit all over the place but we will get there what I need to do this week is try and get all the videos out and get ready for vlogmas <laughs> vlogmas okay so what have I been doing by the way today has been quite a week so Monday was Rico's birthday. It was his 65th birthday. Wow. Wow. Um, and then yesterday, that's been a year since we lost George yesterday. So I was actually, I think with it being on my mind, when was it? Monday? Like in the middle of the night I was I woke up screaming and shouting and I was seeing I had nightmares with Janice in my nightmares and all that but I think it's because I had George on my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna take Lily a quick walk now and then I'm off to looks. So I've got dinner ready, I'm gonna take him some dinner as well. That sounds like Rico's just in. So oof, steam. I have made okra with pork chops and it's sizzling away just there there we go Rico will tell me that's cooked now that he's home with what else but a bottle of wine in hand there we go I've got it's Rico's birthday cards here didn't show you them either there we go what's in here the fruit Okay. The I I fried everything in olive oil before I put I put in. before yeah. I put it in yeah. the okra and the tomato because Rico says we always must fry the tomato for sauces so I fried the onion, the garlic, everything right. the only thing I didn't add in is sugar you're supposed to add sugar so it's a basic recipe of tomato, yeah. Yeah. onion, yeah. garlic yeah. I'm speaking, thank you <laughs> uh, what were you going to say? what were you going to say? I was going to say to you the the sugar that's just to take away the tomato, the All right. acid off the tomato. Alright, but I didn't add sugar. Right, now he's going to taste the okra. It's good. Everything's good. Okay. And you add, you, you soak, you sprinkle vinegar over the okra once you've washed it. So I you put, hold on. So you trim the okra, you top it, bottom it, and then you wash it. And then you sprinkle vinegar over it then I put it in a towel to dry and then whilst it was in a towel kind of drying I fried up all my other I fried up the chops I put them in the slow cooker I fried up the okra I put it in the slow cooker it's a bit the other way around to how recipes normally tell you to do that but that's how I did it right. and then I fried up the onion the garlic and um, added the tomato bay leaf and that was it and then just put it all in there it's been simmering in there for the last few hours so that's the uh, sitting room spotless porch area spotless but we're not walking on the floor now and um, yeah get in there slowly but surely and then the chairs have arrived these were Luke's 30th present there we go. It's looking good. Hello and welcome to the 25th of November, to a very frosty November. It is Saturday. We are, well I have started making gollifa. Rico is waiting on me just now to, so I can go and help him choose some glasses. He had an eye test yesterday but not much changed so it's anyway, good. Let me show you what's been going on. This Saturday I did two classes because the timetable is back to how it should be so I did a 45 minute spin class at nine o'clock and I did a half an hour class of LBT at quarter to ten okay so I came in I boiled the wheat which I had soaking overnight so last night before I went to bed I went through it took out all the bits that shouldn't be in it uh, rinsed it and left it to soak overnight and boiled it when I came back in from the gym. I had my almonds that I picked up from the Asian shop soaking overnight as well and then 
uh, Rico and I skinned them today so we took off the brown skin. I've boiled my sesame seed so all this is going to be mixed together. Rico's been to the baker's, the bakehouse. He's got himself, looks like some sort of uh, hazelnut kind of, uh, I don't know. What, what's the cake called, Rico? You can't remember. It's a hazel, it looks like a hazelnut and caramel of sorts is what it looks like to me. He's already been at it right there. He's also got his usual threads that are all in there, which we'll probably see once we cut into them. I've just left them in the bag there. Right here, we still have the rest of the things that are going to go in the uh, gollifa. And my popcorn maker arrived today. There we go. So we'll try that tonight as well and see how that works. Georgie's going to be very excited about that and so will Theo and Anna when they arrive as well. Here I have my roasted nuts which I roasted yesterday morning with the intention to dip them in chocolate. But the kitchen was a bit, you know, busy with Rico's cooking. Also last night, well, today Rico took all the plinths off all the skirtings around the cupboards. So all of them, he took all of them off, cleaned all underneath them for me as well. So that's another job done. So he did it all the way around the kitchen. And he did it today because last night whilst he was cooking, he dropped a bottle of wine. So there was red wine everywhere and it went under the cupboards and all of that. And so he just took all the skirtings off, which we do every so often anyway. But so that's that done as well. So he took them all off and cleaned all underneath them as well. So. Right, now that I've updated you, let's go to the opticians. Oh, do you want to see an outfit before we go as well? Let's see an outfit. <laughs> Rico's going, what are you doing, Rico? <laughs> Nothing, Andre. This is the outfit. A very old dress from TK Maxx with my Rita Ora boots. This is what I'm wearing right there is Georgie's car seat. So that's today's outfit. And the reason I decided to wear this dress was because the girls were posting on our chat about how they liked these kind of knitted dresses and they were looking at one on Zara. And I said to them, go into your wardrobes, you're gonna find one exactly like that. So I put mine on just to prove it to them. Right, I better go now, cause can we see him, can we see him? Right, let me get a coat. I'm just gonna get my lily coat. Okay, we are home. Our town center was busy, 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 cause because it is the switch on oh, oh, of the lights. Um, that was Rico <laughs> giving Lily a play. Um, yeah, so it was really, really busy. Anyway, so we've chosen his glasses. He's due to get them on the 4th of December or something like that. We stopped at Aldi's to pick up some bits and pieces. And the main thing we forgot to get was a roast for tomorrow because we're going to church and all that and I wanted to stick one in the roast cooker. Fancy going to pick one up, Rico? No. Said no. Right, okay. We have, Rico has wine, he picked up wine, okay. My organic Pinot Grigio, there we go, there we go. Some smoked salmon. Um, why did we stop at Aldi's anyway? we've come back with all of this and nothing really that we needed pecan nuts all right pecan nuts um because i want to make something with the date paste that i got from the agents that's one two three pecan nuts and so they're now doing these bigger bags of walnuts so that's what i like to add to my porridge we've got some pigs in their blankets hand cooked crisps and some square crisps and I fancied a wee g &T tonight so I picked up a slimline tonic I haven't had one of these in about two years and kitchen paper and some of this stuff that I don't touch but this is what Rico likes to put in his sandwiches some uh, honey oh it's got honey bad sugar ham processed bad 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 people bad Anyway, we have some limes for the um, gin and tonic and some lemons because we always need some lemons. I'm gonna get all that away. I'm going to do these and get them out of the way because I've been meaning to do them since yesterday. And then I'm gonna sort out my gondifa and I'm going to 
and I'm going to pull my pomegranates which make a lot of mess. Let's get these out the way first. Okay, that's three pomegranates right there, cleaned, washed and draining. Okay, got the pad done, just going to top it with bread. Rico is making calamari and scampi. Here we go. Mm. Reef lemon and salt. Salt. Lemon. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Sunday the 26th of November. We are just getting ready to go to church. The godlifa are ready. Rico has sliced some bread, put it on the top. This was an idea I got from my auntie because she said that's what she does. She uh, just puts her bread in with the godlifa just on the top there. And we are ready to go. So of course, this is in memory of my dad. Yoros, George. Here we, go. Here we are ready to go. This is the outfit. Pulling the skirt down. Okay, Karen Millen, pull neck. Rita Ora skirt, Rita Ora boots. And that's my casual outfit for the day. Comfortable and it's fine. <laughs> Bag is Jumbo, gloves are Gucci, scarf is Louis Vuitton, coat is Reese. We have arrived in church. I'm just watching what I'm walking on because there's all these dried up leaves, which makes it very dangerous to walk on. So I actually drove into Glasgow today. I chauffeur driven, I chauffeur drove Rico. Is that nice, Rico? Not really, Why? It... <laughs> what are you trying to say about my driving? I don't have to say anything. <laughs> He's not it. used to me driving, so he doesn't like it. Anyway, let me show you this. This is what I'm talking about. It's always like that here. So it is lethal. I don't know why that's even allowed to happen because I'm carrying the golifa. And I must say, I think this is the earliest we've ever arrived in church, but our priest starts really early now, so yeah. They're here. Here it is. It's in the box. is doing vintage. There we go. Now in Primark. Yes. This is a choice of Christmas jammies. Mm. Primark are doing all the initialed scarves and hats. There we go. Interesting. We know I love an um, initial but not sure about this. Baby. Okay, we are home and I am absolutely exhausted. 
So what happened was, um, well, your gloves are in the car. Well, in the glove compartment where gloves should be. <laughs> we couldn't have been bickering all day. Um, have we been bickering, Rico? Sorry. Have we been bickering? Bickering. Bickering. Who's you, bickering? You and I. Not at all. Not at all. Anyway, I'm just I'm so tired. I've just sat on the stairs. So, Rico, basically, after we left church, we went to see Rico's sister. We dropped Gula off, went to see Rico's sister. Then Rico dropped me off in Glasgow and he came back home because he wasn't having any of that carry on in Glasgow. But oh my goodness, the Christmas pandemonium has absolutely started already. It was crazy. It was really crazy. And then Rico gets annoyed because he came back for me. He was like, ah, what have you that usual. Anyway, this is what I came home with. I'll show you properly, but I'm just going to show you the bag now. So I've got all our Christmas pyjamas. There we go. So a bag full of pyjamas. And this year's advent calendar is going to be Hotel Chocolat. You know I've always wanted this one. I couldn't get the wine one. So, see, you're just annoying. It just throws coat in front of me. Anyway. You've got a nasty streak. <laughs> you? Did me? Right, back to hotel show. So this is the advent calendar. <coughs> oh, will you stop it? Right, so this advent calendar retails for £27 something or other, but today they had 15% off, so I bought a wee packet of chocolates and I still paid £27. I'm gonna ha have one of these as a wee treat. I don't know where they are got some sparkly jeans from River Island and as I walked into River Island as I arrived in Glasgow and saw these jeans and I thought no let me go and do what I'm here for and left but they never offered me anything at the door there was standing there was a girl standing at the door and a guy standing at the door but then I just walked in saw the jeans walked back out and anyway, when I walked back in the second time they offered me a scratch card Scratch, I get a scratch card, which I scratched while I was in the shop with these nails, and um, I got twenty five percent off the jeans. So another bargain. I think they were fifty, and I got them for thirty odd pounds. And I'll sh I'll show you the rest another day. I'll just show one and multiply it. <laughs> I even got. Lily one and the lilies! Yes! Mummy could you one as well? Yeah! I got lily lily lily. Right, people, I need to take my boots off. And this was not a good idea because see when I was carrying that great big bag and then that great big bag and then wearing these shoes. What's that on my shoe? Right. So I didn't do any vlogging when I was in. They had the, all the new Rita Ora stuff. They had sparkly boots. I nearly got them and I went, no, because I ordered a pair from Zara. And I thought, I'll get them, decide which. And I didn't end up getting them. I was just, I've had enough by this time. Lily, that's mummy's chocolates. I'm going to go and give Lily her wee special treat now. Take my coat off and get my jackets on. Hello and welcome to the 27th, <laughs> 27th of uh, oh November. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Right, George is going to make popcorn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, put that back in there. of November it's been it's that type of week this week <laughs> again I'm getting ready for vlogmas my people I am getting ready for vlogmas okay today was Tuesday so uh, I went to the gym first thing in the morning I 
um, came back, I dusted all of upstairs, I went away, got my lasering done, came back, hoovered, walked Lily, then I went down, exchanged a few items, got the eyebrows done, it's glow up week, by the end of the week I'm going to be looking amazing. <laughs> Oh, I thought we had the leak again there. Anyway, so I've just come in. I put a piece of salmon in the air fryer. It's the first time I'm making salmon in the air fryer. And um, I thought I'd turn on the camera and just say hi before Vlogmas starts. Because probably the next time um, I upload a video after this one, I'm going to try and edit this one tonight, is um, you're going to see my trailer for Vlogmas. And then Vlogmas starts. People, should we see what we got? So you know on Sunday I bought the whole family pyjamas Well, I exchanged Georgie's. Georgie's six, but I tried on the five to six on her yesterday and I just felt it was quite neat. See, she's very small waisted like her, yeah, yeah. She's tiny around the waist, but she's got long legs like her mummy. So I decided to go and exchange it and get the seven, eight. And whilst I was there, I saw the matching socks. These are size 6 to 10. So I just picked them up. There's two in there. And I got bobbles, which I think look very nice with those pyjamas as well. What do we think? Yay! So this is all for Christmas Eve. And a new pair of festive earrings as well. Merry Christmas! All matching to pyjamas because we've all got the same pyjamas. Because we all like to wear the same pyjamas. And that's all I got. People, we are getting ready for Vlogmas. I picked these up from um, Primark when I was there on Sunday. These are great because I'm on my phone all the time when I'm walking. Lily, my nails need done. Do not look at my nails. They're in a terrible state. They're far too long. They're driving me crazy. So it's easy and you don't lose the bit, you know, when you have to take it off to use your phone and all of that. And I got this thing. I can't remember what they're called. The snoot. Is that what it's called? You know, the it's like a scarf hat thing. That's what it looks like. Just put it around your neck and then bring it over your head. I was roasting people by the time I came back. Roast. I think these were these were three pounds, and this was seven pounds, and that was from Sunday's purchases. Right, I'm gonna cut a quick salad. I just added olive oil, dill, salt, and pepper on it, and that means if I don't add garlic to it which i would love to add garlic to it and give a wee bit to lily but can't give her any of this garlic on it okay so i have actually been non-stop i cannot wait you know you know what it's like this is the week that everything needs done i can't wait to get my color done i've been spraying the roots like crazy my nails are too long and they need um cut and a color put on i don't know whether i should get a dark purple to match my jumpsuit for Sunday or get a red for Christmas and then I might get bored of the red if I wear start wearing red from now so I'm thinking I'm gonna go purple but we shall see okay, let me put this stuff away and get the salad That's stuff same um, Rico home so he's taking over chopping the salad so I'm just gonna upload any footage that I have now on the camera to finish off this vlog but just before I finish off the vlog I'm gonna show you my boots it came from Zara. I did show them in one of the Zara hauls, I think. Well, they ended up being 40% off, so I ordered them. Here they're here. But I'm going to try them on at home with my um, clothes on that I want to wear them with. I do have glittery boots, but they're a different, they're not this kind of sock style. These are very similar to my other Zara ones, which I absolutely love. I think they're, slight, they're slightly longer. Well, they're not really, but they look longer because they're not as high as the other ones. So the lower they are, the longer they look like that. They are like really long. And I'm a size six anyway. So right, I'll try them on anyway with my outfits and I'm sure we'll see what's going to happen with them during vlogmas but yeah 40 percent off i got them lily what are you doing i don't think there's any of your treats left i think you've eaten them all should we have a look there's all the jammies there hanging ready for the troops somebody's very very excited she absolutely loves these don't you i looked today if they had any more and tk max but they didn't I need to get into this for her because it's a shame. <laughs> Tomorrow is Luke's 30th birthday. 
my baby's going to be 30. Yesterday was the, was actually 17 days. I kept thinking it was four, 17 days. I actually... 17 years, I meant to say, 17 years since my dad died. I actually kept thinking it was 14. And then I looked at my diary. And it's actually 17 years since my dad died. I don't know why I kept thinking it was 14. But yeah, yesterday was, the 27th of November was when my... When I got the call from my mum to tell me that, um, you know, when they say in Cyprus somebody's died, they don't really say somebody's died, they say a sechoreth again, which means he's been forgiven, is the actual translation of it. So, yeah. May his memory be eternal. It will be for as long as I live anyway. So, yeah, I just remembered because. So I'll probably pop round to Luke's tomorrow at some point and I'm probably going to start filming my vlogmas from tomorrow which is the 29th and Rico, the plan is for Rico to get all the decorations down today so he's going to get all the Christmas decorations down so my house, after cleaning it Monday, Tuesday it's going to become an absolute mess and then I'm, I'm going into Glasgow with Susan tomorrow with Ruth's mum and then when I come back I'm going to get stuck into the decorations because all I've got to do tomorrow, I'm not going to be going to the gym tomorrow. So, don't know where I left you there because my SIM card ran out of space. <laughs> I need to clear all my SIM cards ready for Vlogmas. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Glasgow with Susan. So when I come back from Glasgow, I'm going to um, put up my decorations ready for our Vlogmas and I'll start Vlogmas at the same time. I might actually start it tonight when Rico starts bringing the decorations down. I'll see. I'm gonna go and eat now. <laughs> so I'll see you during Vlogmas, my people! Mwah!